today I'm going to be painting an expressive seascape in oil. We're going to be using a limited palette. So our limited palette is ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, yellow ochre and titanium white. I'll be demonstrating the first step of this painting. Um, my workshops will show the whole process. I tone the surface first with a mix of burnt sienna and yellow ochre and mineral spirit. I will be using the top thumbnail sketch as inspiration for this painting. Normally I work from just a basic composition like this. I find it gives me the structure in which I can then be much more expressive with the paint. I start by blocking in the key areas of the painting. That will be the sky the sea and the shore. I'm using a dry brush technique so my oil paint isn't diluted with mineral spirits or linseed oil or anything like that. I like the control that using paint straight from the tube gives you. For the next part I return back to the sky and I start building some forms which will become clouds. When I paint clouds I try not to think too much about them. I spend a lot of time outside observing clouds and for me they're really built up of tonal elements. Once you understand the tonal elements of clouds it means then you can be much more expressive with your brushwork and your interpretation of them. Here I'm moving back down to the horizon using my finger just to blend a little more paint in it. Because the horizon is further away from us it tends to have less texture than anywhere else on the painting. So this is where I either use my finger or a soft brush just to blend it to try and get this hazy atmosphere. Next I'm coming down to the shoreline and here's where we want more texture because it's closer to us and for this part I use a palette knife to put the paint on relatively thick. It gives that illusion or that impression of it being closer to us, something for the waves to break on. Equally with the waves that are breaking on the shore, I will use the palette knife just to bring that texture out. Here I'm darkening my horizon line a little bit. So as the sea recedes backwards, it has this darker element to it. Moving back up into the sky now 
and starting to add a little bit more nuance of the dark and light so there's different values some more grey here and there and these little clouds just above the horizon This is one of my favourite colour palettes for creating seascapes. Where I live in Norfolk in the UK, the sea and the sky and the shore are often this colour. And these very earthy pigments are great for capturing a very natural feel to a seascape. Of course you can go high key with it as well. So if you live somewhere that's slightly more tropical and your sea is bluer, you could use a different three colours. So for example, a, a phalo blue, a cadmium yellow, and maybe an alizarin crimson or cadmium red. I'm introducing a little more blue up into the sky. This helps frame the clouds. I'm also using the palette knife now up in the sky to add some textural elements to the clouds. If the horizon is furthest away from us and the shore is closer, the clouds that are up in the top right corner are actually relatively close to us. So here we can have a little bit more of a textural element to them. This brings me to the end of stage one of my painting. What I do at this point is I take the tape off. I will then remask it. The reason I take the tape off is just to see the clean edges of the painting. And then I can assess what more I need to do. For this, I will come back in and start to work on the clouds a little bit more. Trying to get a little bit more drama and tension in there. My horizon line is okay. Um, I'll probably do a little bit more. For me, the main work needs to happen up in the sky, in the clouds So I like to create a lot of movement. So normally at this point, I'll go for a little walk, I'll come back and then I'll get back to the painting. You do not have to live by the sea to paint seascape paintings. Compositionally wise, they're one of the easiest to create. I think we all like to dream of the sea or being near it and from our memory of the sea or even our imagination we can use oil paint to create these wonderful atmospheric paintings of the sea.